Hello. Today we're going to go over consumer surplus. Consumer surplus conceptually is the difference between how much I was willing to pay and how much I actually paid as a consumer. Let's take a look at this question. In this case, we have a price equals 30 minus 2q or demand function, which we can graph out. I always recommend graphing out our demand functions for consumer surplus type questions. Here, our demand function is going to look like this, a downward sloping line with a start point on the y-axis of 30. If we then zero out our price, we can find our x-axis. So we can say 0 is equal to 30 minus 2q. So 2q equals 30. Our quantity on the x-axis for this demand curve would be 15. OK, so it says, by how much does her consumer surplus drop when the price increases from $6 to $8? So that implies that we should figure out how much consumer surplus this consumer had at $6 and then how much they had at $8. So at a price of $6, we can start out, we'll say six right here is our price. This would be our consumer surplus, this triangle right here, which is the difference between our willingness to pay curve or our demand curve and above the price level. So that's gonna be this red triangle here which will be 24 on our height. And then we can figure out our quantity here, which is going to be a price of 6 equals 30 minus 2q. So 2q equals 24. Our quantity will be 12 in this case. So that will be our width of this triangle. So we have our height and our width. We can say 24 times 12 times 1 half for our area of our first triangle, which will be 12 times 12, or 144. Now we can do the same process for our $8 price. So the price of $8, we're going to move up our price line accordingly. And we can see already that our triangle is going to be smaller than before, right? So how much does our consumer surplus decrease, right? So that's a good sign that we're, do, we're in the right direction. So this is our new triangle. That's going to be 30 minus 8 instead, so a height of 22. And then we can find our quantity, again, using the same practice. So we're going to say 8 equals 30 minus 2q instead now. So 2q equals 22. So our quantity is now 11 instead of 12, as shown here. So that's going to be 22 by 11 triangle. So we can say that our triangle's area will then be 22 times 11 times 1 half, which will be 121. Okay, then for our last step, we're going to find the difference between these two. So we're going to say 144 minus 121, which will be 23. So we have a difference of 23 in our consumer surplus between our $6 price and our $8 price.